What do I do? Do I act like a virgin? But what if he finds out? Do I tell him to wait for it for a few days? But what if it makes him angry? Uh, Gauri, I thought I should sleep in the other room tonight. Look, Gauri, if your husband doesn't want to sleep with you, it means you have failed as a wife. Hmm? Won't you ask why? Gauri and a wife, not a prostitute. I really didn't know what he meant, as my mind wasn't working well. And if we sleep together, when we don't even know each other, what different would you be than a prostitute? We'll sleep together the day both of us want to do so. And that would be the day when I would make love uh, with my wife. I definitely wouldn't be having sex with a stranger. I'm not a secret gay. I promise you that. Despite how scared I was, I giggled. Tears rolled down from the corner of my eyes. People say it amazes them when we shed tears while we are happy. They say it didn't make sense. But to me, it made more sense. To me, shedding tears while being happy meant more. I went to the kitchen, but he was there, cooking. Gauri, you fine? Why are you cooking? Come on, Gauri, look at me. See, I like cooking. I'll do it when I like. So can you. Gauri. Come on, you're my wife, not my slave. Have it. Good. If you let your husband step inside the kitchen, you'll fail as a wife. I began to open up with him, little by little. I didn't share any of my biggest secrets with him or talked about my ex-boyfriends but I started talking to him. Once he asked me some important suggestions about his office and my jaw dropped but I quickly remembered When your husband asks you about his work, he isn't really asking. Really? So that keep is... your mouth shut. I started suggesting and he listened. I used to shed lots of tears at home. And I did the same here too. But the feelings of why it came was different. I felt confidence building inside me. I could have never imagined asking him about going with my friends for trekking. But I did. I looked at him and said, Can I go with my friends for trekking? It's just for two nights. I promise. I won't do anything stupid. 
come back as soon as I can. Or if you need me, you, you can call me. Gauri, how many times have I told you, yaar? You're my wife, not a prisoner. You don't need to ask for my permission every time. Just let me know and go. Don't beg for it, yaar. My parents gave birth to me, and they raised me. See, I'm learning. Please keep patient with me. Actually, my mother has given me thousand of list what I can do to fail as a wife, and my dad has given me thousand of list when to shut up. So I am learning. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I apologize for laughing and my previous behavior. I keep that in mind. Uh, but you need to promise me that you will remember that you are not in your parents' home anymore. Let the past be the past. He touched my back for just one second as a comfort, but it was his first touch to me after I entered his house. It was. in all honesty special and the more he called my name the more it sounded special i started calling my friends home for dinners we sometimes drank the wine my husband brought for us i was living my parents greatest gift to me wasn't giving birth to me their greatest gift was marrying me off to a stranger What do you want it to become? I want to become a writer. The expression on his face was priceless. Something I could never forget. I had never seen him so happier. And I bet there were tears in his eyes. I would have never thought but he had always wanted to be a writer too will you do that for both of us please i could only manage a nod that night i cried like never before i covered my face with pillow tightly to protect the sound i didn't know why i was crying so hard but i wanted to scream i saw a black shadow near my door he was standing there watching me i dragged him in the bed are you sure it is in the wine doing it are you sure that you are not a secret gay it was typical of me but i had to say it I thought I owed it to him. I just want to tell you something. What? That I am not a virgin. Oh, come on. I thought you were going to say that you have AIDS. And we did it. I had sex with him after three and a half months of our marriage. I woke up the next day and looked at him sleeping peacefully beside me. I was sure of one thing. like never before i took out my diary and turned to the page where i wrote with a blue ink i married a stranger i picked the black pen and wrote i fell in love with him because i really had fallen deeply in love with him i smiled and decided to keep a promise i made to him i was going to write I was always sure of that but what I didn't know was what I was going to write about Now I did I was going to write about us